Hello and welcome to the fifth part of this course. In this part we are going to set up the dashboard where the categories and videos will be listed. We can begin with the code from the last part. First we can create one new view called dashboard. And add a template tag, the div h1 dashboard. Under here, we can add a script tag and export default name dashboard and close the script tag. We need to include this view in the router, so we open router.js. And on the top, we can import the dashboard. And we can add it under the login, so we can just copy this dashboard. And there. Now we will be able to navigate to slash dashboard. Instead of adding a link to the dashboard, we can automatically send the user to the dashboard when the user is logged in or signed up. So if we go back to login.view and under this is authenticated, we can say this dot dollar sign router dot push dashboard. And the same with the sign up. So if we just go to sign up.view and under here we can paste this line. So if I save now and go back to the browser to test the login. When I click login I will be automatically redirected to the dashboard because the session is live from last time. Maybe we want to hide these two buttons and show a logout button instead. We can go back to the code and just copy these lines and in app.view Go under template and add a script tag. And we can say export default. And just paste this. And we need to add this to the data array. So we create it up here. Data turn false. We can also remove this because we don't want it to redirect here. So now we will set this to authenticated when the user is authorized. So if I scroll up here and on this field here I say V if not is authenticated because I want to show it when we are not authenticated. Under here I add one more div class field v else this will be rendered if we are authenticated so in here i say p class control button at click log out now we can add a class to it so it will be a red button is danger when we click this button, we want to call the logout function. So we go down here under created and say methods logout. And in here we say firebase.auth.sign out. And when we are signed out, we want to say that this authenticator is false. So we go under here and say then this dot is authenticated equals false. You also need to import Firebase at the top here, so just say import Firebase from Firebase. So if I save now, I will see that there is an error here. You can see. Okay, I forgot to close the p tag, so if I go back to the code. And save again. Now there is a the red logout button. When we are logged out we want to redirect the user to the login screen so we can go down here under the logout function and here we say 
this dot router dot push login can I go back to the browser to test the logout button I can just click here and say logout and I'll be redirected to the login screen where I can log in again okay now we want to list the categories here in the in the tab view so if I go just go to the dashboard dot view and here div class tabs ul li class is active newest because we want one tab to show the newest movies category to so if I save now and go back to the browser you will see the two categories listed here as tabs maybe we want to make the categories as an array so we can go down here and say data function return categories thriller thriller comedy action and up here we say v4 category and categories and here we just print category so if I save now and go back to the browser you will see that the categories I added will be listed out here and that was it for this part of the course In the next course we will connect to Firebase and we will automatically pull these categories from the database and we will make it possible to add categories. Hope to see you next part.